a bicycle, a bag of rice, your pet, and even you all have mass. Mass is the measurement of how heavy or light an object is. The units we use to measure mass are the milligram, gram, and kilogram. Do you know how heavy the average adult is? The average adult has a mass of around 62,000 grams. That's a really big number though. Did you know that we can convert this number into one that is much simpler? By converting between the units of mass, we can see that 62,000 grams is equal to 62 kilograms. That's better, isn't it? The unit we choose depends on the amount of mass we are measuring. Let's see how this conversion works. The smallest unit we use to measure mass is the milligram. This isn't used very often unless something is incredibly, incredibly small. 1,000 milligrams equals one gram. The gram is a very common unit of measurement for things that don't have much mass. If something doesn't have much mass, it is light. Things we measure in grams include small amounts of food like beans or vegetables, and things like toothpaste and bars of soap. The kilogram is the next unit of measurement. 1,000 grams equals one kilogram. The kilogram is the unit of measurement used for things that have a large mass. If something has a large mass, it is heavy. Things we measure in kilograms include a bag of cement, a heavy suitcase, and a human being. Let's take a look at how we convert between these units of mass. Converting between units of mass is quite straightforward because moving between each unit of mass works on scales of 1,000. If we know there are 1,000 milligrams in one gram, all we do is divide milligrams by 1,000 to find the value in grams. So 2,000 milligrams is equal to two grams. If you want to convert grams to kilograms, all you need to do is divide grams by 1,000. 5,000 grams equals five kilograms. Now in reverse, moving from kilograms down into smaller units simply requires multiplication by 1,000 instead of division. Now you can see that we measure small masses with smaller units such as milligrams and grams and the larger masses with larger units, such as kilograms. And if you haven't already noticed, converting between each unit of mass requires either multiplication or division by 1,000. 